In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to send a video feed to vMix from anywhere in the world over network using Omnistream SRT. I'm gonna show you how to set up Omnistream SRT caller and Omnistream SRT listener. And of course, with the same goal to be able to send your video, either you're doing remote productions or you wanna cover an event with someone who has an Omnistream device and be able to receive that feed back into your vmix production software so let's not take my sham let's get right into it what's up guys my name is sam with omnistream here so right now we have omnistream application open as you can see and i have a fresh copy of vmix as well open and the first thing we're going to do we're going to use the omnistream caller option to be able to send the feed to vmix now if this is your first time you hear about srt basically srt means secure reliable transport which is a way to send a video over network from anywhere in the world and of course if you have an omnistream device it's gonna allow you to be able to send your video over network to someone maybe running vmix from home and some of the key advantages of using srt one is low latency two is reliability three it is security is actually very very secure number four is actually bandwidth efficiency as you can see in omnistream if you go to this camera icon for the codec we do support hevc and h264 basically hevc is the same as h265 and if you're using srt i'll actually encourage you to use h265 or hevc because this is gonna allow you to send a high quality video with a lower bit rate compared to h264 so the next step obviously we're gonna go ahead and actually set up our omnistream srt caller which means vmix is gonna be a listener again if this is your first time when you're setting up srt one of the two devices so the receiving part being vmix has to be either a caller or a listener and omnistream has to be either a listener or a caller again with omnistream have two methods or two ways of sending the video and of course i'm gonna show you both ways you can choose either way that you want they both work omnistream srt caller is a little more complicated because it involves you kind of having to configure some network settings and i'm gonna show you how to do that first and then second i'll show you how to set up omnistream srt listener as well so the first thing we need to do we're gonna go ahead and actually set up our network to be able to receive the feed okay so i invite you to go ahead and go to windows search bar and type in command prompt it should actually show up here and what we need to do, we need to find out one, our computer's IP address, two, our router's IP address, three, our public IP address as well, okay? So with command prompt, I need you to go ahead and actually type in IP config and hit enter. Now the IP address we're looking for, the first one is our computer's IP address, which is 192, which is gonna be under IPv4 address which is going to be for us 192.168.2.12 and then another one is going to be our default gateway which is our router's ip address in our case it's going to be 192.168.2.1 okay so once we have these two ip addresses you want to make sure you copy them or you type them in a notepad and save them somewhere because we're gonna need them in a moment. The next thing that we need, you're gonna go ahead and actually open your browser and just type in what's my public IP, okay? And the first website should say, what is my IP.com? Just click to it. Again, this has to be a secret, so don't show it publicly. But the first one should be my public IPv4. It should show up and you're gonna go ahead and actually copy it as well because we're gonna need it. Now, the next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna go ahead and actually take our router's IP address, okay? Cause that's the first thing that we need to do. But you wanna make sure you go ahead and actually type it in in your browser. Now, I already have mine already, which is 192.168.2.1, okay? And then type it in and it's gonna open up your user interface for the router, okay? Once you get in, you wanna make sure you go to advanced tools and settings. And then of course it may ask you a password to access it. So make sure you enter your password. Once you are in, you wanna make sure you go where it says port forwarding, okay? We're going to create a port. So basically what we're trying to do 
Omnistream is gonna send a video feed, but once it hits your IP address or your router, your router has to know where to send that video feed. And you wanna make sure we actually create a port where our router is actually going to send it directly to the computer that's running vMix, okay? That's important, okay? So that's where we have to create the port forwarding thing or to forward to that port, okay? So the first thing you need to do, you're gonna go ahead and actually hit the plus sign where it says create a new rule. And we're gonna go ahead and actually create a new rule. So for us, we can actually call it Omnistream SRT vMix. Okay, protocol, you wanna make sure you choose UDP. And internal port, you can actually go ahead and type in something like 5,000. And make sure you choose a port that's not taken by any other advice so we say 5005 okay external port you can go ahead and use the same thing 5005 and then here where it says local ip address this is where you actually either you can actually go ahead and choose your specific device which is going to be our computer running vmix right now mine is this one right here okay or if you want you can actually instead of typing that in you can actually type in remember the ip address that we had on prompt command here which is 192.168.2.12 so i can go ahead and actually type it in 192.168.2 and then 12 and then hit create so either way it should send to my computer because that's my computer's ip address so once you're done all you gotta do just want to make sure everything is good and hit save and we should be good just hit close and you can close everything all right so the next step we're gonna go ahead and open omnistream and as you can see because we have all our network stuff already configured again make sure on this camera icon hevc is actually ready for the bit rate you can choose whatever bit rate you want to send for me I'm, i want to send three megabits per second again you can send four depends on your bandwidth depends on the type of network you're actually dealing with and then we're gonna go here to export settings and then we're gonna go here where it says srt caller okay again for now we're setting up srt caller i had this one i'm just gonna make sure i delete it so we're gonna go ahead and click to srt caller and it's gonna ask us our stream host now for the stream host is gonna be our ip address remember we want omnistream to be sending the video to our public ip address that we actually got to that website that says what's my ip address okay so since we have it saved i'm gonna go ahead and control v okay we have it saved on my clipboard okay again you can put it anywhere you want okay now for the port we're gonna go ahead and actually type in 5005 remember we just created that port in our router and then it's gonna ask you to put a stream id and passphrase this is optional if you want to use it we can use it if you don't want to use it it's up to you but for now we can actually go ahead and use for the stream id let's say my stream id and then for the passphrase we can use one two three four five six seven eight nine zero so once we done everything looks good again your port number has to match and your stream host has to be accurate you want to go ahead and actually click save and we are good to go now before we actually go live we're gonna go to vmix okay because you don't want to go live before you set it up in vmix so i'm gonna go ahead and go to vmix and i'm gonna go ahead and add a new input okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and choose srt and for this vmix is gonna be our srt listener so it's gonna be under stream type it's gonna be srt listener for the port is gonna be 5000 the same port that we just created 5005 okay and then everything else keep it the way it is our passphrase remember it was one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and our stream id was my stream id all right make sure the spelling is 100 percent on point okay so once we done verify everything one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay everything looks good just hit okay so now the next thing we can do we're gonna go ahead go back to omnistream here 
And what we got to do is we're just going to go ahead and hit go live. And as soon as you hit go live, we should be able to get a feed in back in vMix. So as you can see, we have a feed in vMix. Okay. If I clap, you can see the delay is really, really minimal. If, so it's going to come with a little delay, of course, and usually it's going to range between one to 1.8 seconds, depending on your configuration. So once you're done, of course, this is your stream. It should come with audio and everything. What we're going to go ahead, we can actually stop the stream and it should stop streaming back in vmix as well okay so the next thing that we're going to do we are going to do the other way which is to set up the omnistream srt listener okay in this way vmix is gonna be a caller and omnistream is gonna be a listener okay this is gonna be the easy way you don't have to configure any network all you gotta do you just gotta do a few things that i'm gonna show you in omnistream and bring that information back into vmix you don't have to set up your router your public ip address you don't need any of those this is gonna be actually really really easy so what we need to do is we go back to omnistream and we go to this export configuration button okay i can go ahead and actually toggle the srt caller off and i'm gonna go ahead and click to srt listener okay now for this time all you gotta do you don't have to enter any information you just gotta go to this button where it says generate so hit generate and omnistream is actually going to generate everything for you okay so now what we need to do is i'm going to minimize omnistream for a bit and i'm gonna go ahead and actually open vmix now for this time i'm gonna go ahead and close actually the other input and then we're gonna go ahead and add a new srt input okay i'm gonna go to stream srt for the input type okay and for this time it's gonna be srt caller because now omnistream is our srt listener and what we need to do the first step says host name so i'm gonna go to omnistream and tap to stream host that's the actual link that we need so i'm gonna copy it just tap to it it's gonna copy it and it's gonna actually you can paste into back into vmix next we need our port so i'm gonna go ahead and actually tap to it and then it's gonna copy it and then i can come and paste into vmix the next thing we need to do is gonna be our passphrase again everything is generated for you and i'm gonna click to it i'm gonna go here where it says passphrase and then hit paste and everything else stays the same there's nothing else that you need you can go ahead and hit save and close and once you're done as you can see i had another one but this one is actually off so it's not gonna be streaming so as soon as we stream this is gonna be the one that's gonna be actually streaming in fact then i, I can actually go ahead and actually delete it because we don't need it so this is the link that we just created so i'm gonna go ahead and click x to exit and just to make sure everything looks good here back in vmix once you're done all you gotta do is just click ok and once you click ok the next step before you go live always make sure everything's configured in vmix before you hit the live button back in omnistream so we're gonna go ahead and actually open omnistream again and the only thing we gotta do we gonna go ahead and hit the go live button or the live button as you can see right now we're sending the signal to omnistream servers and back in vmix we should be able to receive a signal as you can see again voila we are able to receive a signal here in vmix and as you can see everything looks good no problem and if i open omnistream again you can see that there is a minimal delay okay if you can compare what we're getting if i clap you can see that the delay is really really minimal as you can see the quality looks really amazing and again this is omnistream if you want to use your dslr connected directly into your phone you can still get like even a higher quality image you're gonna be able to send that image from anywhere in the world using srt back into your vmix pro for production so guys, that's how you set up SRT in Omnistream to be able to send a feed to vMix. If you have questions about any step, let me know down below in the comment section. But if you are a OBS user and you want to do exactly the same thing that we just did, but instead of using vMix, you want to use OBS to be able to send the feed from Omnistream using SRT. I've got another video that's going to show you step by step how to set up both Omnistream SRT caller and Omnistream SRT 
listener to be able to send a feed to OBS. So make sure you check it out. It's going to be linked right here. And I will see you there, guys. Take care.